Hey guys, Eric with Blue Line Fishing. Welcome back to the channel. Your time's important to me as always. And what we're going to do in today's time is another Wednesday review. And this time we're going to talk fishing scales, finding a good set of fishing scales that are reliable, accurate, and that fit your needs. Stick with me. I think you're going to enjoy it. Okay guys, let's jump into this, but before we get going on the scales, one thing I'll say is I'm a big proponent of using these a pair of lip grippers to weigh your fish. That way you can just hook these right onto the mouth of the fish there, lift it up, and uh, not do any damage to the fish. Because if any of these scales with this hook, if you take this hook and you run it, punch another hole in their lip, or if you hook them up under the gill plate, uh, you take a chance of hurting that fish, especially if you're looking at releasing them. Uh, so this is going to do the least damage. Just make sure whatever pair of lip grippers you get, like these are polis, for example, they have a hole right here and you can fit any of these hooks through there to use and fit on any of your scales. So once again, recommend a pair of lip grippers and you might say, well, you know, they're going to add some weight to your, your final total there. And that's true. But I did take these digital scales here and uh, weigh them out and they're 1.2 ounces. So if you want to round it up, you can say these are two ounces and you can just subtract two ounces from your weight on your catch, or you could just use the tar feature that's on most of these scales as well. But with that being said, let's get into it and start looking at some of these scales. Okay guys, let's jump into this. First set of scales, Rapala 15 pound digital scales. Um, I'll talk first too about the power source on these. This is powered by a nine volt battery. And the reason I bring this up is uh, some of these scales you'll see are powered by a little lithium battery, like a watch battery. Those can be difficult to find sometimes if you're out and about scales go dead and you want to run into say a convenience store and pick up some more batteries uh, you can always find some double a's triple a's maybe a nine volt but it's a lot more difficult to find those little lithium batteries so this is run off a nine volt battery um, it does have a backlit feature on it i'll turn them on here um, but it's got a backlit feature with it and it also has a memory on it so if you're wanting to remember the weight of those catches um, and maybe see what the biggest fish is you caught and weighed on these particular set of scales for the season you can do that i don't particularly use that feature but it has that so it's a nice option um, it's got a big set of handles for those bigger fish to grip up here and weigh them or you can grip it by the side because it is a larger set of scales i've had this particular set of scales for probably going on uh, 12 or 13 years. They're very accurate. Uh, we use it within an ounce or two and um, I found them to be pretty dependable. The only thing about them, they are finicky. What I mean by that is a lot of times on lighter fish, if you're trying to weigh say a crappie, maybe a bluegill or something like that, a lighter fish, um, you've got to pull down on it and kind of get it going, get the fish on there and, and kind of get the scales to it's almost like catch, if you will, before they'll give you an accurate weight. You just can't throw them on there, a lighter fish, and uh, get that instant reading. So that's the knock on these scales. Uh, like I say, this is 15 pound capacity on those because that pretty much suits my needs. I, I don't usually weigh much bigger than that because I'm usually weighing bass, crappie, maybe a huge bluegill or something and now and again. But uh, that is the Rapala Digital Scales. And they run about 34 33 $34. I'll leave an Amazon link down in the description for all the scales we're going to check out today. Uh, that, guy, that way you guys can get on there if you want to and check them out for yourself online. Next set of scales, guys, is the Dr. Meter scales. You know, I found these on Amazon for, um, it was $10.99, so 11 bucks, and they are 110 pound capacity or 50 kilograms. Um, I'll don't know how in the world you would weigh a fish that's 110 pounds or even half that weight on a small set of scales like this, but that's what they go up to. So it does have a large capacity on it. It does have a nice backlit feature on that. Let you see that right there. Also has a memory function on it and a tar weight. Uh, that tar weight, if say if you're putting fish in a bucket, you can weigh the bucket first and then, then zero it out put your fish in there and you have an accurate weight or like we were talking about earlier uh, using the, the fish grippers here you can just uh, you can tar those out or you can either uh, just deduct that weight uh, off the final total of the fish but these scales I have found to be very very accurate um, I've checked them time and time and again against known weights just throughout the course of probably the three years that I've been using these and these are really on the money within an ounce or two as well. So really accurate scales, small, compact and do a really good job. Oh, and one other thing I'll mention about these scales is they run off triple A batteries. So a convenient power source as far as being able to find replacements if you're out and about. 
Next set of scales, guys, are these Berkley 50-pound uh, digital scales. I haven't used these as much as I've used some of the other scales, uh, like the Rapalas, the larger Rapalas I showed you. I'm going to show you a smaller set here in a minute, too, uh, or the Dr. Meter. But I've used these kind of like the larger set of Rapala scales. These have the tendency that you kind of got to pull down on, on the hook here and kind of get it going or warmed up, if you will, uh, before you can get an accurate weight with it. These I've found to be not quite as accurate as the Rapalas or the Dr. Meters, but um, that is the Berkeley 50 pound digital scales. And these are powered by a lithium battery. So a small watch battery, not quite as convenient to, to find if you're out and about as some of the other power sources, but that's what it's run off of. And finally guys, the last set of scales, another set of Rapalas, but these are a very compact set here and I'll turn them on, see if you guys can see the display. Um, the display on this, the only thing about it, they're not, I don't know if you can see they're not, I know there's a little bit of glare on there, I'm sorry about that. But the, the display is not as bright as it is on, say, the, the Dr. Meters or even the larger set of Rapalas. But I think a backlit feature is nice to have if you're fishing in low light conditions or it's um, nighttime or you've got kind of dark tinted sunglasses on, the backlit makes it nice. These are a little bit more difficult to see, especially when it's bright and sunny out. Um, as far as the accuracy on them goes, uh, they are accurate scales, uh, but once again, you kind of got to pull down on them, get them started, and then um, for those lighter fish, and then you can get a reading. If it's larger fish, it's not it's not a problem. Um, the ones I found that just read instantly are these Dr. Meters out of all these scales that I'm showing you today. Uh, as soon as you put a fish on there, you get an instant reading, and it does a really nice job right out of the gate without having to kind of finagle with it and mess with it. But this uh, set of scales is also powered by a um, lithium battery. So once again, it's kind of that awkward, if you will, power source. The lithium lasts a lot longer than the, the regular batteries, but at the same time, if it goes dead while you're out there and you're not carrying a spare, which I usually try and carry spare batteries for all my scales, just to make life easier, uh, a little bit more difficult to find. But uh, that is the Rapala 25 pound uh, compact scales. These are nice though to be able to just throw in a backpack uh, or even your pants pocket if you're out there bank fishing and it uh, makes it uh, convenient to have that set of scales with you when you're out there and about. So that's a quick look at several different types or brands I should say of scales. Um, if you're going to ask me, hey, what's your what's your favorite out of the four that, that I showed you guys today? It's going to be it's going to be these, these Dr. Meter scales. Um, these things were cheap, like I say, about 11 bucks on Amazon, but man, they give you that instant reading. Um, They've been dead money as far as the weight goes when I've went ahead and compared them several times to a known weight. And um, for the price and the size and the function of these and dependability, I really, really like these Dr. Meters. And these are not the most expensive set of scales out of the whole bunch. In fact, they're the cheapest. I don't have any affiliation with them. I'm just trying to give you guys an honest opinion that these are a set of scales that have worked really, really well for me. Once again, I'll leave a link to all the, the uh, scales I've shown you today down in the description. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed that quick look I gave you at some of these scales out there. Uh, there's lots of options out there on the market. Uh, I'm a big fan of digital scales. I didn't review any analog scales. I do have those, but I prefer the digital scales uh, over the analog just for ease of use and accuracy of reading in, in my personal experience. Uh, once again, I really appreciate you guys watching today. If you got something out of the video, please consider subscribing. I will leave a link to all the scales that I showed you guys today down in the description. And don't forget these Wednesday reviews. We do the first and third Wednesday of every month. So if there's something you guys would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments. If I can get my hands on it, I promise you I will try and review that for you guys. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. And remember, get out there and fish.